Hey, Rocky Mountain Rebels, doing our first test ride today on the Honda CRF 300L. Uh, I've got the one with ABS. My brother-in-law's got the one without. We are just playing around in the parking lot. They are very interesting. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride it around for a while, and then I will do a video probably back at home talking about my thoughts on it. But it is very different than my Rebel. That's all I can say right now. Amazing. So different. It's so light. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Dude. I wish we had our um, just a little a little hill or a little you know even if there were some decent uh, potholes in here so we could play a little bit more. It's, it's so nimble. It's so nimble. The, the, uh, the clutch is really nice. I think. Yeah, I like the well. I don't like the clutch on the 300. I never have, but this uh, I'm loving the shocks. It's like whoa! I feel like I'm floating. All right, so I'm gonna go that way, go past the machine, then turn around, and then go back to the machine. Okay. I guess I'll follow you. Yeah, I think, I think that would be a ton of fun. The only thing that I don't like about this place is most of the seats are sucking. Well, yeah, I'm but you're, you're standing most of the time anyway. But yeah, this has got to go, because I like actually being able to see this stuff. Yeah, I, I hate that. So I think, I think I would do what she said, I'd just zip tie it down. As long as it's loose, you don't want to tie it. I want it. <laughs> yes, sir. So then the question is one or two? <laughs> if only. Okay, so as promised, I'm back at the house and I'm gonna give some final thoughts on riding the Honda CRF 300L. That was a very different experience. So first off, I was really surprised at how easy it is to do a test ride. I was expecting a ton of paperwork and insurance and all this stuff and it was like, we need a copy of your ID and here's a waiver, <laughs> have it back in 10 minutes. And I was like, that's it, sweet. <laughs> 
So we took it out. Um, the girl there was really nice about you guys can have it a little longer than 10 minutes but you know don't go crazy and we went okay so we had it maybe 14 or 15 minutes looking back at my actual footage and how much footage i got um so it wasn't very long but it was a ton of fun first thing that i noticed getting on this thing so i sat on it in the store before we took them outside and I didn't think I could flat foot it. Now I'm actually pretty tall. I'm about 5'11". So I'm, I'm fairly tall and the seat height on this is what, 35, 34.7. Okay, 34.7. And the Rebel is 27.5, I think. So what I'm used to is a way lower. And when I first sat on this thing in the, in the showroom, I went, oh, I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> I don't think I can flat foot this thing, which was a whole new experience for me. And I was a little nervous that we were gonna take it out and I was gonna tip this sucker over. So when we took him outside um, and I you know, sat on it, kicked up the kickstand and the shocks actually kicked in, I went, oh no, okay, I'm fine. I can actually flat foot this thing. <laughs> so whew, I do have really long legs, so that should you know, help with these things. <laughs> Anyway, so that was really comforting to actually be able to, you know, get on it, flat foot it. Very, very comfortable. Um, one of the other things that I noticed, I guess right away, of course, was how skinny it is compared to my Honda Rebel. The 1100 felt like just a massive bike after sitting on this thing. Um, and it's not like it's it's very it's still very lightweight. It's very well balanced But you go from that to sitting on this little CRF 300L and it just it felt so narrow between my legs and it felt so nimble when i rode it like it was very flickable it was very um which you know you want for a dual sport you want this on dirt roads and whatever you, you want it to be really maneuverable and i'm just i'm obviously not used to that so it was a different experience but a lot of fun i guess i should talk about the shocks um so the shocks on this thing made me want to replace the shocks on the rebel <laughs> And I hear people complain about the Rebel 1100 and the, the shocks and how, especially the rear shocks, need to either be adjusted or replaced. And really being the only bike I've ever truly ridden, other than the little 300 and whatever it was I rode in the MSF course, um, I didn't think it was that bad. I really, really didn't think it was bad. It's never really bothered me. Um, but sitting on this CRF was like sitting on a cloud. It was very comfortable it absorbed a ton now sadly we did take it into a parking lot and i was looking for things like potholes <laughs> we didn't ride over any curbs although we thought about it we we're like yeah let's treat it nicely but i wish we would have been able to go on a little dirt path or something where we could have had a little more experience with it so the last thing i'm going to mention is i had a really hard time finding the shifter with my foot on this thing um, as well as the brake on the other side it was I think it's closer than it is on the Rebel, and I just had a hard time getting my foot under it for the first minute or so, and um, again, the lady that was helping us was laughing at me as my brother-in-law just like tears out of the parking lot on his, and I'm going, wait, where, wait, I'm not ready for this yet, like I'm discombobulated on the thing, couldn't find my, my pedals, couldn't, <laughs> I was going, wait, wait, wait. Um, and I heard her giggle, which was hilarious, and she did mention it later, which was funny. And I was like, yeah, you know, I've got, I have large feet, and I just wasn't used to everything being so close together. I mean, within 20, 30 seconds, I was out of the parking lot and, and doing fine, too. But yeah, it's, it's just different riding a different bike, and I liked it. And I hope I get to do more test rides, and not just because I'm looking to buy, but maybe I'll do more just for the experience. Once I was on it, once I was on the road, once I was, you know, I, I knew where the blinkers were. It's, in, in the end, it was a Honda and everything was kind of where i expected it to be um, other than my feet i guess i should say um but for the most part yeah everything like my, my blinkers the cable that goes across the top of the thing is stupid who who designed that that is absolutely my least favorite part of the bike is that dumb cable that goes clean across the top of everything and I couldn't tell which gear I was in. It blocked my view on a couple different things I, I like to look at when I ride. So that would be, I don't know, zip tied down or something like that is changing if I buy the bike. So in the end, we both decided we really liked it. My brother-in-law was just 
over the moon excited about the bike but he started on dirt bikes so he's more you know that's that's his thing and for me i'm i definitely got comfortable on it very quickly i would love to take it out and you know like again use it on a trail at some point which is kind of the whole point of this because i want to prep for that trip next year and we want something we can take camping when the family goes camping and just for something different right Okay, well, I guess that's it for this week. So like and subscribe and comment below. Are there any other dual sports we need to look at before we decide to settle on this one? Um, as a more experienced rider, is there anything you recommend? I always appreciate your recommendations. And yeah, hope you had a great Thanksgiving last week. And keep riding, keep safe. I uh, won't be doing too much riding around here. We had a real good snowstorm, so it's pretty icy in my neighborhood right now. Um, hopefully that'll clear up. And I did buy myself some heated gear. So maybe this winter I can actually ride. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. Take care.